Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. It's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check. Hello everyone, I'm Jules Giang with Season 3 of K-Check. Today, we are challenging a new set of contestants to see how much they know and how far they will go at para punuin ang ating semi-final slots. Kaya naman stick with us until the final week of this exciting competition to find out who our next K-Check champion will be. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Unang-una, we have Kurt. Kurt is a BS Agricultural Biotechnology student from the University of the Philippines, Los Baños. He likes to write world-building projects, create small modifications for niche video games, hike to scenic locations, and explore ruined structures. He wishes to do voice acting for fun someday. Papakinggan natin ang boses mo mamaya. Sunod naman, we have Joseph. Joseph is a third-year business administration student from UP Diliman. He likes watching TV sitcoms and anime and is fond of music from all genres. He also has an affinity for coffee and pizza. Next, we have Jane. Jane is a student from UPLB, currently taking up BSABT. She continuously grows her hair in hopes of donating it. She grew fond of dyeing her hair and aims to finish the colors in the rainbow. Wow. And finally, we have Christelle. Christelle is an incoming fourth-year BS Geodetic Engineering student from the University of the Philippines, Diliman. Interestingly, despite not being an alcohol drinker, she enjoys pulutan dishes such as boppies and papaita. Nakakagutong naman. Okay, maraming salamat. So these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have Professor Marian Roque, Professor of Mathematics from UP Diliman. Sunod naman, we have Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of UP Diliman Department of History. And finally, we have UP Diliman Department of Art Studies Chair, Assistant Professor Sofia Guillermo. At ngayon, contestants, first round na. Kung saan correct answers are 10 points each. Get ready to buzz in and collect those points. Let's begin. This is round one. Question number one. In what ocean can you find a great garbage patch that covers almost 2.6 skirt? Pacific Ocean. Let me proceed. Covers almost 2.6 million square kilometers. You said Pacific Ocean. That is correct. Okay, check. Question number two. What is the small, usually brown bird that has the name adopted by Batman's sidekick? Joseph. Robin. Robin is correct. Okay, check. Question number three. If May 1st is a Wednesday, how many Fridays does the month of May have? Joseph. Four. Four is wrong. Anyone can steal? Crystal. Five. Five is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. What is the first letter on the top row below the numbers in a typewriter keyboard? Q. Q is correct. We okay, check. Question number five. In what sport did Harmi Constantino win the 2024 Villamore Philippine Ladies Masters Championship? Kurt. Golf. Golf is correct. We okay, check. Question number six. Which president's portrait can be found in the 50 peso bill? Kurt. Anyone can answer, Jane? Serio Osmeña. Serio Osmeña is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. In geometry, what is the radius of a circle whose diameter is 27? Jane. 13.5. 13.5 is correct. Okay, check. Question number eight. According to a Kelly Clarkson song, what doesn't kill you makes you what? Jane. Stronger. Stronger is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. In what Broadway musical did main character Jean Valjean get imprisoned? Les Miserables. 
Les Miserables. Get in prison for stealing bread. Les Miserables is correct. Okay, check. Question number 10. What color do alkaline substances turn a red litmus paper into? Correct. Blue. Blue is correct. Okay, check. Question number 11. Taken from Latin for brotherhood. What word usually refers to a Greek letter college organization? Kurt? Fraternity. Fraternity is correct. Okay, check. Last question for this round. To commemorate the Stonewall event in 1969, what month has been designated as Pride Month? Kurt? June. June is correct. Okay, check. And that ends round number one. So after the first round, lahat po ng contestants natin ay nasagot lahat ng mga questions. So let's do a scores recap. Kurt is in the lead with 70 points, followed by Jane with 30 points, and followed by Joseph and Christelle with 10 points each. So contestants dito sa ating show, meron tayong segment na mas kinikilala natin ang background ng bawat contestants. Ito ang Kay Chica! Simulan natin kay Kurt. Kurt, marami kang words na ginamit sa bio mo. So ano itong writing world building projects? While at the same time, gusto mong mag-explore ng ruined structures. Paka-explain mo naman ito. Uh, essentially po, yung sa world building ko, para pong nagawa ka po ng mga um, fantasy world, something like that. To be, para pong setting sila for stories. Something like that. So yung pong pag, aking pag-hike, pag-explore po ng mga ruined structures, they serve as inspiration po. Kasi po, mostly yung mga ginagawa ko pong world building projects ay mga post-apocalyptic or ruined na po yung mga worlds. Ganun po. Kaya ka nahihilig punta sa mga ruined structures. Yes po. Eh. Like what? Uh, ito po sa amin po, marami po talaga mga ruined na mga apartments po. So I go there every now Saan and yan? then. Sa Lipa City po. Lipa. Opo. Oh, okay. Tapos po sa LB din po, marami din pong ruins sa UP Los Banyos. Kaya po, I like going to those places. I see. Thank you so much, Kurt. Very interesting yung ginagawa mo. Ito naman si Joseph. So, Joseph, meron kaming Mr. Universe question mo for today. Kung kailangan mong mamili between coffee and pizza, ano ang pipiliin mo at bakit? Uh, for me po, siguro coffee. Kasi mas maraming varieties yung uh, pwede mong ilabas sa kanya. And uh, mas exciting and creative in general than pizza pa. So, ano, meron ka bang favorite coffee shop lately? Uh, dito po sa A2, halos lahat po favorite ko eh. Uh, sa yung A2, sorry? Uh, sa Area 2 po. Area 2, sa A2 sa na palang tawag sa Area 2. Okay. <laughs> uh, basically, yung mga coffee shop lang po doon, kahit yung una ko pong makita, uh, bili lang po ako and masarap naman po siya. Okay. Bibisita tayo sa A2. Maraming salamat, Kurt and Joseph. Pero mamaya, babalikan natin si Jane at Christelle para chikahin din kayo. Pero ngayon, paghandaan muna natin ang round 2. Susunod na yan sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! At tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Points recap tayo ulit. Kurt is in the lead with 70 points, followed by Jane with 30 points, and then followed by Joseph and Christelle with 10 points each. Ngayon naman, tuloy na natin ang second part ng Kay Chica. So si Jane naman ang kakausapin natin. Jane, gaano mo na katagal pinapahaba yung buhok mo? Um, ngayon po, uh, last 2020 ko po siya nakat hanggang shoulder level. So ngayon po, it's four years na po siya. Four years. And you also mentioned no, na you plan to donate it eventually. Meron ka na bang naiisip kung saan mo siya i-donate? Ay, yes po. Actually, nagsisearch na po ako kasi gusto ko po sa mga cancer patients. Cancer then. patients. Okay. Maraming salamat, Jane, for what you're doing. Marami kang mapapasaya ng mga patients natin uh, dealing with cancer. Thank you so much, Jane. Ngayon naman si Christelle. Ito naman. Christelle, hindi ka ba nasasabihan na pangit ka banding kasi hindi ka na nga umiinom? Inuubusan mo pa ng pulutan yung mga kasama mo. Kumakanta na lang, pinapakanta na lang po ako para Pinapawin hindi ko maubos yung pulutan. <laughs> Fair enough naman. So, natutuwa naman sila. Bawing bawe. Okay. So, sample daw. Ay, hindi po. Pang, pang, kahit po hindi ako umiinom, pang lasing po yung boses ko. Eh. <laughs> so, parang pareho lang din. Oh. Okay. Sige, maraming salamat, Christelle. At sana mas ma matuwa pa yung makasamahan mo kapag nagbabanding kayo. Okay. Thank you so much, Jane and Christelle. Pero now, it's time for round two. So contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure you strategize. Correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin. 
This is round two. Question number one. What term, originally from Javanese, refers to the destructive mud flow on the slopes of a volcano? Kurt. Lahar. Lahar is correct. Okay, check. Question number two. What term for a poker hand that contains five cards, all of the same suit, can also... Joseph? Flush. Let me proceed. Can also be a verb that may mean to dispose down the toilet. You said flush. That is correct. Okay, check. Question number three. Which female singer from the Bronx plays the title role in the 2024 sci-fi movie Atlas? The correct answer is Jennifer Lopez or J-Lo. Kilala niyo naman si J-Lo. Okay. Question number four. Which winner of the FAMAS Award for Best Actress for her role in the movie Ai Ayeng, 2008, got married to Chisa Escudero in 2015? Kurt. Uh, Heart Evangelista. Heart Evangelista is correct. Okay, check. Question number five. Which mythological flying horse is the logo of the Mobile Oil Company? Kurt. Pegasus. Pegasus is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. What fast-growing evergreen gum tree covers three-fourths of Australia's forest? Kurt. Eucalyptus. Ready to proceed. And produces oil that is used in candies, cough drops, and toothpaste. You said eucalyptus. That is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. What is the name of the pair of skyscraper buildings in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia? Kurt? Petronas Towers. And you proceed, that stand more than 70 meters above street level. You said Petronas Towers or Petronas Twin Towers. That is correct. Okay, check. Question number eight. From 1926 to 1989, Hirohito was the emperor of which Asian country? Kurt? Japan. Japan is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. In what sport did Martina Navratilova and namesake Martina Hing Hingis rise to become number one in the world? The correct answer is tennis. Question number ten. Which British multinational retailer's name is shorted into M&S? Marks and Spencer. Marks and Spencer is actually correct. Okay, check. Question number 11. Which 2008 album of Taylor Swift has a title that is synonymous with Brave? Kurt. Fearless. Fearless is correct. Okay, check. Last question for this round. What is the title of the 2024 movie about a girl, B, who can see everyone's imaginary friends? The correct answer is if. And that ends round number two. Okay, so after that round, let's do a scores recap. Kurt is in the lead with 230 points. Take note, second round pa lang to. Meron pa tayong last round mamaya na may 360 points. Okay? After Kurt, we have Joseph and Jane tied with 30 points each. And then Christelle, you have 10 points. Pero hindi pa nga tapos ang laban. Ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng Okay, check. And welcome back to K Check. So our score so far, Kurt is in the lead with 230 points, followed by Joseph and Jane with 30 points each, and Crystal with 10 points. Pero meron pa tayong paparating na ultimate pagalingan round. Dito. Correct answers are 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. For this multiple-choice round, we will accept the answer itself or the letter and answer but not the letter only. Sa ating panel of experts, magagaling ang mga katanungan. Let's begin. Simulan na natin ang ating ultimate pagalingan round. First question from Prof. Marian. A baby dog is a puppy? A baby cat is a kitten. What is a baby cockroach? 
E. Kurt. Nymph. Oh, I don't know. Okay. The choices are A. Caterpillar. B. Larva. C. Nymph. D. Pupa. E. Imago. So, normally, I um, larva or may caterpillar mga insects. But for cockroaches, kakaiba siya. May egg called the uteca. Actually, containing the eggs. At paglabas, baby ipis na agad, na agad siya. And this is the nymph. Okay, check. Thank you. Cute din ba sila? <laughs> okay. Prof, next question. The democratization movement of the Southeast Asian country in 1988 was influenced by EDSA People Power, which deposed the Marcos dictatorship in 1986. A. Cambodia, B. Indonesia, C. Myanmar, D. Thailand, E. Vietnam. Patuloy ang pamamayani ng military junta sa bansang ito, ang lumang tawag sa bansang ito ay Burma. Ang tamang sagot ay letter C, Myanmar. Thank you. Okay, next question from Prof. Sophie. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> In Noli Metanghere, Crisostomo Ibarra's mysterious friend and ally, Elias, had a twin sister who studied at Colegio de la Inmaculada Concepcion de la Concordia. Where did Elias study? A. University of the Philippines B. San Juan de Letran C. Ateneo Municipal de Manila D. San Beda University E. University of Santo Tomas um, Si Elias he went to the same school as Jose Rizal. No, so, pareho sila mga Atenista. So, the correct answer is C. Atenea Municipal de Manila. Thank you so much. Now, we're off to our second round of questions. Prof. Marian, go ahead. Visible light travels at a speed of 300,000 kilometers per second and is a mixture of rainbow colors which have different wavelengths. How many colors does sunlight have? A, 3, B, 4, C, 5, D, 6, E, 7. Okay. Dapat alam mo ito, Jane, kasi rainbow colors gusto mo sa hair mo. So, ilang kulay ang gusto mo sa hair mo in the end? Color is simply a perception of the different wavelengths. At sinabi sa question, it's a mixture of rainbow colors. And we have how many rainbow colors? Seven. Thank you. Prof. Neil, go ahead. In traditional Philippine rural communities, Patron-client dynamics involve the relationship between these two individuals. A. Landlord middleman B. Landlord politician C. Landlord tenant D. Politician tenant E. Politician voter uh, C. Landlord tenant Tawag din ito sa relasyon na nagpapaupa at umuupa ng bahay. Tamang sagot, si Landlord Tenant K. Check. Thank you. Prof. Sophie? The Real Academia de Bellas Artes de San Fernando in Madrid, founded in 1752, was a famed art school with illustrious alumni. Which artist did not study at the Academia? A. Pablo Picasso B. Salvador Dali C. Juan Luna D. Fernando Amorsolo E. Vincent Van Gogh um, Alam din yung kwento ni Vincent Van Gogh no, Medyo sad yung ending no? Pero he started out pastor siya 
So I didn't really have much formal schooling as an artist. So the correct answer is E. Vincent Van Gogh. He didn't go to the Royal Academia. Thank you. Now we're off to our third round. Prof. Marian. Gusto ko yung Vincent Van Gogh did not go. <laughs> <laughs> so, math naman. Pabilis na lang to. If the sum of three consecutive numbers is 12, what is the smallest number? A, 2, B, 3. Correct. Uh, B, 3. Mabilis mag math. Okay, so if X is the smallest number, ang choice pala ay 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And if you can see the choices, kahit hulaan mo lang eh, kung ano mag add up. But if you want to solve for it, if X is the smallest number, so you have X plus X plus 1 plus X plus 2, sorry Neil, 3, X plus 3 equals 12, or X equals 3. Okay, check. Thank you. Prof. Neil? Nose bleeding experience ulit. Parang dumadaan na kindog. Pag tinatawag ng math teacher. Pag nangakarinig ng math. <laughs> These presidencies saw the passage of key legislation such as the Reproductive Health Law or RH Law, Human Rights Victims Compensation Law, and the Sin Tax Law. A. Corazon Aquino B. Benigno Aquino III C. Joseph Estrada D. Gloria Macapagal Arroyo E. Fidel Ramos uh, B. Benigno Aquino III. Hindi lang magaling sa math, magaling rin sa current events. Hinarap ng kanyang administrasyon ang iba't ibang problema tulad ng Manila hostage crisis at Mama Sapano incident. Ang tamang sagot ay letter B. Benigno Aquino III. K. Check. Thank you so much. Uh, Prof. Sophie, next question. Okay. Um, pink is not just the color but according to some economists, it's also a marketing strategy. Pink tax is an additional charge on certain consumer products. Which of the following is not usually subjected to pink tax? A. Deodorant B. Toys C. Shampoo D. Cereal E. Haircuts. Great. D. Cereal. Um, cereal is correct. Actually, um, another term for pink tax is gender-based price disparity. No, and so cereal. No, you can't have. Well, but that one gender and cereal. It's for everyone. So, um, D. Cereal is correct. K. Okay, check. Thank you. And now we're off to our last round. Prof. Marian, go ahead. Last question from me. Biology. Our bodies produce enzymes to help facilitate biochemical reactions needed for us to live. Which part of the body produces the enzyme thiolin? A. Thyroid glands. B. Pituitary glands, C. Salivary glands, D. Pancreas, or E. Ovaries. Nakalimutan na natin ang mga mga glands natin. So the main function of the thiolin is the to catalyze, okay, na ma convert ang starch into sugar. So, thiolin is a form of amylase and it's found in the salivary glands. Thank you so much, Prof. Neil. Your last question, please. When did pork barreling or the use of pork barrel funds begin in the Philippines? A. American colonial period B. Japanese occupation, C. Marcos dictatorship, D. Spanish colonial period, E. Third Republic.
nagsimula ito sa panahon ng kolonisasyon. Ang tamang sagot ay letter A, American Colonial Period. Thank you so much. And now we're off to our last question for this round. Prof. Sophie, go ahead. If Vincent Van Gogh was famous for his sunflowers, the Impressionist Claude Monet was famous for painting what flowers? A. Roses B. Water lilies C. Chrysanthemums D. Anthuriums E. Tulips Great. Uh, B. Water lilies The correct answer is B. Water lilies K-Check! And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. And we are very happy to announce that Kurt is now a record holder for having the highest score in the entire K-Check show since Season 1 to Season 3. Congratulations, Kurt, with 410 points. Congratulations! So we'll see him again on Friday when he competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-finals. Maraming salamat din kina Joseph, Jane, and Crystal for joining. Palakpakan natin sila. At para sa ating members ng panel of experts, Professor Marian, Professor Neil, and Professor Sophie, maraming salamat po. Ako po si Jules Giang. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check. <laughs>